the floating butt joint, we'll first have to apply a thick layer of mud between the tape. Once the mud is applied, take about an inch off of each side. First, we'll smooth in the middle over the tape. Then, when we pull the mud in on the edges, we'll lift up the knife a bit so it doesn't dig back into the butt joint. If your butt joint is smooth after the first coat, you don't have to send it. Instead, you can scrape your knife over to make sure there aren't any imperfections. Apply your second coat the same way as you did the first. Try to keep the edge of the mud as straight as possible. Make sure to remove most of the mud in the center, it should not be higher than the tape. The middle should have the least amount of mud and the edges should have the most to flatten it out. First check the flat with your knife to make sure it's even and scrape it up and down to remove any loose pieces. Put mud on your knife and work your way up the flat towards the middle. Do the same starting from the top. Don't be afraid to add extra mud in spots that look like they might need it. Once the mud is smooth, use your knife to take about one inch off of each side. First, scrape the dry mud to get rid of any imperfection. Then apply the second coat the same way as you did the first, taking an inch off of each side. On this coat, we don't want to leave as much mud on the flat. So we'll press our knife a little harder as we scrape off the excess mud. If you get any rough edges, 
make sure to feather them out. <laughs>